At one time, water was our only drink. And then we became self-aware and thought, you know, water would be good if it was sweeter. We started adding fruit juice to it. <laughs> and then we started adding sugar to it, right? And then we thought it'd be nice if it was bubbly, that would be cool, you know? So we started adding bubbles to it, carbonation. And next thing you know, we have this water-based drink that is got full of sugar, and full of carbonation and chemicals, you know? And the one thing we don't drink anymore is water. <laughs> was the only drink on the planet for billions of years and now we forget to drink it. So I mean, I think that should be looked at, don't you? <laughs>that we got started on this journey isn't it the journey of planting good karma in our lives right I have prepared this list um, I mean I've been using this list for many years in you know an indirect way I use it you know for weeks on end and then I won't use it for a while so really I've been inconsistent with it but I think the plan here is to be consistent with this plan of planting good karma in my life for 24 months and see how my life will change, right? <laughs> and you know it will change. <laughs> I think while we're waiting for um, UPS to show up, um, I might make uh, pineapple upside down cake uh, for, our, for uh, the weekend. I mean, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> here I basically kind of have it so that it kind of covers all the spaces so last week we used the sheet a little differently instead of looking at it on a daily basis we began to look at what would be our targets in these areas and these are the this is the list here right you know, of planting good karma daily. And um, instead of looking at it on a daily basis, we would make a plan on how we would want to look in 24 months, right? So feel free to download a copy of this daily planting karma sheet. It's listed below. Uh, and is on my Google Drive for you to download and follow along it'd be a nice journey for us all to plant karma in all of our lives and see how we grow in the next 24 months this is gonna be about me not because I just want to be about me but it'll be about my journey in doing that and how my life will grow right maybe you'll be included with me <laughs> I need to find five friends right <laughs>
So we'll go over the list here for my human self or for my human body. Um, what we decided, what I decided was I wanted to get my weight down to 165, 170 approximately. So I haven't done my weight yet, but that'll be in one of the coming um, vlogs, right? Checking my weight and beginning that program of planting good karma in my future by losing some weight. For my home and auto, I was talking about bringing this home back up to proper standards. You know, the fact is, is that, you know, my dad and I bought this place, an older mobile home. And uh, then I lost my dad a few years ago. And, you know, that's a tough to lose your roommate and your, your partner in life, really. And, um, I, you know, I don't think I've really been concentrating on, on doing much maintenance around here. Some, I mean, I painted my deck this week, or this uh, last few weeks. But there's much good karma that could plant, be planted here. And, you know, this is what good karma is about too, right? Planting karma today so that we can look forward to our future. So much of us wish to avoid the future because we're scared of our karma. <laughs> All that means is that the actions that we're doing today are so dangerous to our future, we don't want to look where our future is going to go. What is my weight, you ask? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but I know it's over 200 pounds, maybe 205 or so. So I think it's time that I start doing some exercise. Well, it's the first day of <laughs> the new karmic resolution to lose a little bit of weight. And I couldn't get a proper weight for my um, the starting point because my scale <laughs> would not work. <laughs> I even put new batteries in and it just would not work. But I'm thinking 205, somewhere around there is our beginning point. And uh, I think that would be a good place to start. But we're gonna go off to um, Pond Mills, uh, the pond, and go for a little walk. I've got uh, Sprite with me, and she's really gonna enjoy this walk. And we're gonna see a little bit of Dorchester. So we'll see you in a few minutes, guys. Okay, so we're off for our walk. Are you ready? Come on. OK, 
Okay, so first we put the three eggs in. Anyways, for family, I want to build a stronger relationship with my three sons. Uh, and, you know, there are others too, you know. Uh, there is an ex-wife that I went through a battle with divorce that probably I could build a better relationship with. <laughs> right? There are many others too, right? That over the years, when we build a life through consumption, we don't mean to. But that means we're building a life on the taking part of the equation in living, right? And relationships tend to be devices for taking things that we need, right? Taking comfort or taking, you know, relate whatever we need from that relationship. But it's still a kind of a selfish way of looking at it. And when we are no longer serviced by that relationship, when we're in that state of mind, we tend to just throw the relationship away as if it's nothing, right? So this is a low level form of relationship and I wish to make relationships you know when consumption is done so this comes from eating once a day sleeping on the floor reducing my needs each day which would be another part of the journey <laughs> right until I reach a point where I am simply happy with my necessities and I begin to build happiness in a different place right my consumption is used as a medicine to build a life in another place, right? A place where I can build love and joy and happiness in relationships, right? So consumption is only a pit stop to another place. <laughs> when consumption is our destination, that means that we're good. we will live a life of, of sitting around eating popcorn and watching TV. Beautiful day out here. Take a look. Wow. Very quiet day here today. I've always seen that one individual. There's where we're going. Let's see if we can get it in the distance here. See it? That's the dam right there. <laughs> Anyways, so for friends, I said I wanted to find five new friends in two years. Develop five solid friendships in, in two years, right? That should be a good goal. I mean, I, I you know I think that that would be very helpful for me. For new acquaintances, I want to remember names, right? So again, there's an episode right there how to remember people's names maybe I'll learn you know how how they do it <laughs> and I get to practice it on you right <laughs> so that's a good idea right for air I said something about air conditioning but maybe not wanting to live with air conditioning I think that comes down to you know finding comfort easily so maybe there would be a goal right how to find comfort easily including maybe not having air conditioning right can we live without air conditioning <laughs> as much of the world it does <laughs> so we should look into that you know whether it's even healthy to even think this way you know do some investigation and then make kind of a conscious thought right live by conscious thought if we're not living by conscious thought 
we must be living by listening to our urges, right? One leads to a place that we choose. One leads to what all urges lead to, being worn out by a, by a repetitive action, right? Urges are repetitive actions that wear us out, wear body parts out, you know? Uh, diabetes is a form of that, right? Eating so much unhealthy food that part of us gives up. You know, this is not really self-love, right? For land, remember we said we we're thinking about maybe a deck garden, right? Maybe learning how to grow a deck garden or learning how to maximize this little property of mine to grow maybe my own food, right? There's all kinds of episodes there. It might take longer than 24 months. <laughs> For water, we never really mentioned water last time, but I think with water, I would like to learn what healthy water is, how important water is to our diet, and we know how what we've done to this act of drinking at one time water was our only drink and then we became self-aware and thought you know water would be good if it was sweeter we started adding fruit juice to it <laughs> and then we started adding sugar to it right and then we thought it'd be nice if it was bubbly that would be cool you know so we started adding bubbles to it carbonation and next thing you know we have this water-based drink that is that full of sugar and full of carbonation and chemicals, you know, and the one thing we don't drink anymore is water. <laughs> Was the only drink on the planet for billions of years and now we forget to drink it. So, I mean, I think that should be looked at, don't you? <laughs> there we are, just about there now. Come here, let's look at the falls. So for the inner child, again, something very similar. In 24 months, I want to wean my inner self off of sugar, which really basically is weaning myself off of the belief that happiness should be placed at the level of consumption. If I just get that through my, my this rock head, this hard head here, <laughs> then that would mean that I, you know these kinds of addictions wouldn't even appeal to me. That the math doesn't work, right? You get 10 seconds of happiness and hours of, of agony fighting urges or, you know, or, or hours of fighting a weight problem. So the math doesn't work on this stuff, right? But if we can get that through in our minds, we will stop wanting to be that way, right? So the next one is animals. And that was, should I get my little dog a mate and have pups once? So there's something we can look up, planting karma that way. Is it wise? Is it healthy? You know, what are the risks and all that kind of stuff, you know? For plant life, I wanted to sprout my own uh, garden plants for spring next year, right? And to get more plants for my home. For work, my teaching, I guess I would call it, because I don't really want to call it a job, even though I need to be paid something for it. But I'm thinking, you know, um, I need to build Udemy so that it becomes a successful teaching endeavor, right? Um, for entertainment, it was about, could I live without TV? Could I get rid of TV as a form of entertainment? So much is unappealing to me at now, just because of, of it just seems like one argument over another argument, right? And. Um, arguments don't really appeal to me as much anymore, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, a good story has conflict in it. <laughs> it's bad for a Buddhist. <laughs> Anyways, for self-conscious, for my highest conscious self, I said that I wanted to learn to sit in contentment with that part of us, right? And I already do that, you know, now, but to regularly sit in contentment with the greatest part of our consciousness that sits there all the time. So confident, 
right? So confident in, in his energy, or, or his or her energy should be said, that this one allows us to move at our own speed, in our own time, you know, basically, you know, in the most healthy way for us, right? Not rushing us, not putting pressure on us, not trying to control our path, so that we will take our minds off of our path of trying to find something healthy in our life to now fight for freedom from you. Right? So this is why we have to be very wary about listening to see somebody if somebody's ready to listen. Because if they're not ready to listen, they're on their own journey of being self-taught. And we do not wish to hold them back. Give them something. Give them the freedom to move at their own speed, using their own thinking, right? This is wisdom, right? They may be thinking in a very unnatural way or even a very unhealthy way right now, but giving up their own thinking will not be healthier. Changing their thinking will be healthier. And that takes willingness, and willingness takes freedom, right? I'm gonna give her a pour. You know, it only takes a few minutes to make a pineapple upside down cake this way. You always got margarine in the fridge. Pineapples are $1.69 a can. And, um, and uh, you know, put a little more in there. So what's next? The highest energy partners, our angels, our crystals, and our guides. So here, I already do yoga and invite this energy to go do yoga with me and it helps me to remember that I am surrounded by divine energy everywhere right our partners right that we have many partners and you know that is one way but you know maybe to invite them more to the store these energies to invite them more on my life you know to build an active loving relationship with my spirit guides and my angels and that kind of thing it might sound weird in the Western world, but you know, in in the in the Buddhist way of thinking, we are all, um, you know, expressions of the same consciousness. That's why we basically have the same personality. We're not riled up. We're calm. We're happy. We're loving, right? And uh, we're all born in that kind of state, and then from that point, we become discontent. So you know, learning to that we're surrounded by energies that are full of this love and energy and wisdom and willingness and to make friends with that energy that is the best way to be powerful in our energy right we do not command things we cannot command our angels <laughs> they don't like that <laughs> freedom right we offer freedom to them to help us in the in the way that they feel is wise right Asking for something specific is often not the way, right? That means we've already chosen our path, right? And perhaps we're still choosing with the thinking that God is into trouble. <laughs> Sometimes the answer is no, I guess. <laughs> and the final one is our true path or my true path. In the next two years, I would like to move this teaching from a quiet, unknown thing. Like I said, lost on the internet right to something that is helping people more than than you know than it is today so so i don't know where that will grow you know but i continually am planting seeds and even this this vlog is a seed i'm planting that over 24 months i will build a group of people that i will get to know that may learn a little bit about meditation and find some contentment seeds i'm planting right seeds of karma so that I can look forward to my future in two years, right? So anyways, that is my list. Now what are we gonna do? Now we are going to start looking at which ones we can do now, which ones we have to plan for, which ones we need more information about, and start to plan out how I'm gonna change this old life of mine <laughs> into a beautiful garden of karma so that I can live there peacefully, right? With uh, you know surrounded by the beautiful relationships that I am I'm working on right so 
I look forward to doing the breakdown of how we're going to do this next. It'll likely be next week because this has been a little bit of more talking than I wanted to do. But, but I thank you guys again, and thanks again, eh? Bye-bye. Well, I'd like you to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I encourage you to go to my website, thedancingbuddha.ca, if you're interested in some free Zoom meditation classes that I do Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And please take a look at my course, Using Meditation to Tune Consciousness. It's found on udemy.com. And I think you'll enjoy some of the interesting videos that I've got there. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.